Brown High School, teacher Ed Lindsay is teaching his students about mercury contamination in aquatic systems. Rather than taking the traditional textbook approach, Mr. Lindsay is teaching his students by taking them out into the field and actually getting them to do hands-on research. One of the main things they worry about is that mercury that you're eating, if you're becoming pregnant, that's all could be getting transferred into a fetus. Um, National Highway Transportation Safety Administration did a study a couple of years ago and found about 80% of the people that are involved in accidents were distracted by something other than driving three seconds before the accident happened. Inside the classroom, Mr. Lindsay is comparing the movement of clothing in and out of a house to the movement of mercury in and out of an aquatic system. This makes it easy for his students to understand the concepts. People parking on the UMaine campus need to be ready to battle parking penalties for parking in the wrong areas. On this permit-only campus, you need to park in areas that are designated for your permit. Failure to obey these rules could result in a citation, fines, or even vehicle towing. Charges can be dropped by paying a penalty, and penalties range from $25 to $100. I'm very happy with what the district is doing to take measures to prevent it in our school district, but if it does happen, you know, just get your kid treated and I think it'll be fine. In the seasonal flu vaccination, um, that is through the main CDC and the main Department of Education. They teamed up to get federal stimulus funds to provide students vaccination at no cost. Some studies that have shown that kids that have relatively high levels of mercury actually have lower IQs. Pretty much just that it's illegal for people to talk on their cell phones now. Mr. Lindsay ensures that his students understand the mathematical concepts behind the numbers and units which they work with. Uh, right now we are learning how to use tripods and how to connect the flip camera to the tripod and how to have all the legs even. Uh, specifically, uh, it's to remediate deposits of coal tar which uh, were deposited on the river bottom uh, in the vicinity of Dunnett's Cove uh, over about a hundred year period. I'm energized to do it because um, I think that they'll learn the chemistry concepts and, and context that um, will be meaningful to them. We did have papers come home from the superintendent offering a free flu clinic. It was that it's supposed to be a law basically to discourage distracted drivers from doing things like that distract them or that draw their attention away from the act of actually driving. 